everyone, I'm Riley. Hi, I'm Kirsten. We kind of just imagine that you're like the third person yeah. in our conversation. Yeah. So, so welcome. welcome. <laughs> mentor gave me a really good a good mindset it said he said that whenever you're in any situation you want to speak with both grace and truth mm. grace being the comforting like the hope fulfilling like you know if I come up to a friend and I'm like I did this and they're like it's okay like that's grace like extending grace to another person and then I tell this part like her I'm like I completely screwed up she's like it's okay it's okay and then maybe a few days later she'll be like Riley we need to work on this yeah. that's the truth yeah it's like a great conversation or a great um like when you say something to someone else, if it's someone you're mentoring or a friend, if you speak with both grace and truth, the middle of that, I feel like, is a sweet spot right. of how to love people well. Right. And I think it's important to have those friends in your life that you invite in to be real with you because a lot of people don't like to hear the, the truth can be hurtful. Like, truth yeah. hurts, Lizzo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what forces you to really look yourself in the mirror and be honest with yourself about, like, ugly parts of you but yeah. unless you address that it's like putting a band-aid on but not stitches so like if you want to grow like you have to be able to like open up the wound and have it be hurt a little bit like figure out what friends you're gonna let speak into you because yeah. you can't let all friends right and this is a great analogy but it's about the idea of snorkeling versus diving so if you think about snorkeling, snorkeling requires just a mask. You don't really need to know much. You swim along the surface. Yeah, you can dive down if you can hold your breath that long, but then you have to come back up to get air. But when you dive, you have like the oxygen ta um, tank attached to your back. Like you can go really deep mm -hmm. and it requires a test to dive. Like you mm -hmm. can't just go out and start diving. Like you need to pass a test. And I feel like that's a really good analogy to use in friendships is like, I have a lot of friends that are like my snorkeling friends. Like they, I can just call on them whenever and they're really good support friends and I value them in my life. Mm -hmm. But her, she's like a diving friend. Like she'll go deep with me. She, I know she's not gonna go surface level with me, mm -hmm. but I know this may sound bad, but she's kind of like passed a test. Like I've seen her, I've seen her character and I've seen a lot of things I wanna be like that's in her <laughs> and so like when you find friends that you want to be like like people that inspire you in one way or another that's a great test of someone who can dive with you right and I just I love that so much it's like when you go diving it's an investment too like you have to buy the oxygen you have to yeah you have to carry it on your back and if you're doing that for too many people like it's too heavy you, mm -hmm. you can't carry everyone else's burden so you have to be selective with like who you do that with too yeah it's like yeah. you're the you probably heard the quote that you're the sum of your five closest friends yeah so like true. if you looked at your five closest friends and thought okay I want to be like them if they were a prediction of your future would you like your future mm. and like if I look at her I'm like yeah I like my future <laughs> yes. like I want to be like Same her way back in 2003 I've been chilling on the coast with my